What is up everybody, Josh here again, and today we have a barely believable Icarus Week 96 update. They've added the new bear armor to the game, as you can see here. And we're going to show you how to get that and craft it. We also got some notable improvements. Hypatia is coming next week, so big news on that. And so much more. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 96 brings brown bear armor and changes to the bone armor tier 1 set now. This week we also get an update on Hypatia and some news about the planned release for Part 1 of Styx next week. And I just want to thank everybody for their building system improvements feedback. Notable improvements this week is that they've finally increased the Ashen Drake spawns in lava areas and added additional spawn zones. Small improvements to building placement logic to make more intuitive. Orbital exchange pods when launch. Grant exotics to your account immediately rather than waiting till the end of the launch sequence. So you, once you launch exotics into orbit, you get it immediately now. And adjustments to the Lava Hunter Broodling creatures so it targets correctly with its leap attack and reduce damage to take into account its burn modifier application. So this week they added Bear Armor, which is a tier 2 armor crafted in the textile bench. It's called the Berserker set, and we'll show you out here shortly because it gives you attack speed and melee resist buffs once you have a set bonus. You gotta get a bear head to make this armor with a taxidermy knife, and to balance this armor, bone armor is now tier 1 and crafted in your player's inventory rather than requiring a bench. They also balanced out the obsidian and heavy obsidian armors, adjusting and lowering some stats but increasing others. And leather, cured leather, and composite armors have received a health and stamina regeneration buff as well. So we're going to talk about where do you unlock the armor. It is in tier 2, and if you take your bard scroll all the way right, you'll see it right here just right next to Heavy Obsidian, and it is the Brown Bear Chest Armor. Take that, bears, it says. This armor set does give a plus 10% melee attack speed bonus and gives you plus 20 melee resistance. So an armor with melee attack speed. And if you want us to do kind of a side-by-side -side comparison with the best armor in the game, pretty much composite. If we were to compare the composite as far as physical resistance, it's, it's pretty low. It is also crafted quite easily and only in tier 2, where Composite is tier 4. But the resistances and all that, they are quite low, comparatively. It is crafted at any textiles bench or better, and is the very bottom here, brown bear armor. It does require leather for rope and a bear head for the head armor, and we'll show you how to get a bear head here shortly. And leather, fur, and rope for all the rest of the recipes. So let's show you how to get a bear head. So we got our bear armor and we got all the melee buff foods that give you a melee attack speed and we got a titanium knife with 20% melee attack speed and the 10% melee attack speed with the brown armor. So we're boosting a whopping total of 85% melee attack speed now. So let's go attack something. Oh look, here's something we can kill. <laughs> and just go find you a bear and then you know you could do bear on bear combat like that after you kill your bear you're just gonna skin it with the taxidermy knife and you'll get a bear head take that back home something might be a little And take it back to the textiles bench, and you'll be able to craft you some bear armor. And this is vanilla. And as mentioned, you can craft bone armor now in your inventory. It is a tier one item, which means your inventory and you can craft it. It's pretty cheap. It's just bone and leather per piece. And of course, you got the melee damage and melee resistance with this set. 
And between all three of them, they seem like they are... It is the weaker set, for sure. 100%. It's a pretty weak set. Versus the brown bear. Heat resistance actually is a little better with the bone armor than it is the brown bear. And cold is better with the brown bear than it is the bone armor. But it's really not a bad armor set that you can basically just get by killing a few animals. We got Hypatia coming next week, actually. We have part one of Styx Hypatia operations coming next week. So big news there. All the Styx Hypatia operations should be out and ready. We are going to be doing some streaming of that, actually, this week. We were able to test it and stream it to you guys. So we're going to do that this week and next week. Of course, just remember they're releasing Hypatia in parts, and Styx is the first part with Olympus being later on, and also exotic spawns in open world later on as well. But expect the very first part, part one of Styx operations, to be there next week. Very, very small update this week. The changelog. So a new content, the bear armor. The bone armor moved to tier 1. They increased the cold and heat resistance of heavy obsidian armor and lowered their exposure resistance. And the obsidian armor, they lowered the cold resistance and added generic exposure resistance. Lowered volcanic exposure resistance set bonus. Still more overall exposure resist to the volcanic region. Leather and cured leather and composite armor. Those got doubled the health and stamina regeneration provided by set bonuses as they're now a general all-rounder armor with bone and bear armor fulfilling the pure melee combat role. Oh, they also removed the new Frontier feature level icon from Bone Armor. Skim over the fixed section this week. They increased the number of spawn areas in the Ash and Drink. Thank Jesus. Should be easier to get that one mission done. They stated they added new map location icons. I'm not quite sure what that means. And it looks like mounts can now drink from the Swamp Lakes and Prometheus. They increased the range at which mounts will automatically seek out nearby water bodies. And we're going to skim over the future content section this week. Looks like we might get the Land Shark Trophy one day. Oh, nice. And the Sam Worm. That's awesome. That's nice. Talking about new beam types and new building pieces. It looks like cloth armor pieces are getting attachment slots. They're working on new building pieces. Yeah, they're totally working on new building pieces. New building types, new building pieces. Got the ice building tier. Oh, look, and we're getting new placement rules too. Looks like we're getting some new mission icons. Talking about the Tusker again. Looks like we're going to get the Lover Hunter as a trophy as well. Also the Komodo. And they worked on the Tusker a little more. And that's it for this change log. And thank you so much to our late night crew, KHX Sergio, Wolfie, Sandy, Silver, John, EMC2, Rod Knob, Nova Kane, Aaron, Hong Po, and Steady Bob. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, for being part of the late night crew. Here is the shout out for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's it for this video. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing will get you Icarus videos just like this one. And content videos when those release. We should be releasing a new content video for Icarus this Saturday. Look forward to that. We'll be releasing it around noon, Eastern Standard Time. We also are looking to be doing our next build 2.0 here within the next week or two. So we'll announce that on our Discord. Don't forget to join that. The link is in the description down below to that. And hopefully we'll see you next time. Peace. Bears all around. They all look exactly the same. Bears all around. Looking exactly the same bears all around. <sighs> it's unbelievable.